Okay, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at all the different settings on the next leaf for the Titleist driver. There are up to 16 different settings. Sometimes it can be really complicated. So we are gonna take a look at all those settings, talk a bit about what it does, change in face angle, loft and lie, and maybe do a little bit of testing as well. Okay, so driver settings with the Titleist, as I mentioned, the 16 options can be very confusing for many golfers out there. What setting does what? We've got A1, 2, 3, B, C's, D's, all these numbers flying around. So we're going to talk about maybe what each one does. We won't go in depth at every single one, but we're going to test some variability. So I've got a TSI 3 driver, 9 degree, and I've got options now to move that loft up by 0.75 of a degree or up by 1.5 and also coming down in loft by 0.75 to the degree. But also on top of that, I can change the lie angle. That's what we're going to talk a little bit about, how this can possibly help you reduce a certain bad shot in your game or even try and create a certain shot that you're looking to hit. Okay, so as you can see, we've got all those different settings. So wherever you line up the, the letter and the number to that dot on the back of the hosel is what it's going to be set in. So A1 is basically standard. So this is going to play nine degree, standard uh, loft as it is nine degrees, square sitting club face, and then a standard lie option. Then you can move it around to adjust the loft accordingly. So we're gonna hit a few shots in A1, get some numbers, and then we'll have a little play around, test some other options, and maybe see how that can affect the ball flight. Okay, so just quick to look at those shots which I had on that A1 setting. So clearly you can see that I've got a little bit of a left to right shape going on there, a little bit of a fade. So if that's maybe you as a golfer, how can we use these settings to help potentially change that shot shape? And obviously you can change that through technique, but maybe not everybody's having lessons. And this is where sometimes we can take advantage of this adjustability in a driver to maybe just help a certain shot shape. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to move the lie angle of this driver now more upright. So 1.5 degrees more upright. So the standard lie on this is 58.5. I'm gonna move this up to 60 degree, which is more upright. So the lie of the golf club making it more upright can potentially keep the ball going a little bit more towards the left of target so a2 is the setting i've got now which is keeping it at nine degrees so i'm not changing the loft at the moment but i've made it 1.5 degrees more upright so we'll hit a couple of shots and see if that shape or that, sh that um, shot direction changes yeah and straight away that a little bit more of that left hand side we'll hit a few more shots Okay, nice one to finish up on there. So clearly seeing a bit of a difference there with the, uh, with the upright lie angle of 1.5 degrees. We can see maybe on the screen of the dispersion ring straight away with the orange, you can see that right shot has pretty much gone. I've got a little bit left to right, but not by much at all. So a little bit better control. So clearly just ultra and lie has, has influenced my start direction and a little bit of control of that side spin. Okay, so as we mentioned there, that was set at A2. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna change the loft. I'm gonna put the loft up by 1.5, but also keep it in that 1.5 degree more upright. So to do that, I need to put it in A3 setting. So what we do, we untighten the screw, the shaft obviously comes out and then we've got two like toggles that spin separately. Okay, so I'm gonna get the A and the three together and then slot that back in and line it up with that little dot at the back and obviously in line with the logo. So A3 is setting the driver now at 1.5 more loft, so 10.5 now and 1.5 degree more upright, which we just saw the benefits of in that last batch. So as with most drivers with a torque wrench, it's literally just turn it in and once you get one click, that's tight and you set it in position. So visually now, when I look at that club face, I can definitely see a little bit more loft with the face and it just sits a little bit more closed. As I say, I've also got it a little bit upright as well. So it'd be interesting to see if this gets us that little bit of extra launch, maybe a little bit more spin potentially. Yeah, and there's much higher on that ball flight straight away, very visual. Okay, so there's some shots, more upright, more loft, 
let's just go and check a few numbers out and see what differences these settings have made to the ball flight and the shot directions. Okay, so let's have a look at those ball flights. So we're going to go back to the first one, which was A1, 9 degree, standard light at 58.5 degrees. And obviously we could see, I, I, I mean, obviously there's a little bit of me as well, but that peeling off of that, that ball flight, one that had the left to right straight, but then a couple lost up the right hand side. So we moved into A2, which was 1.5 degree more upright, which is this ball flight. And you can see that really helped on straightening up that uh, ball flight, less of that right miss. And that's a, definitely a big thing that the lie of the golf club can help and vice versa if you're wanting to go more you know maybe take the left side of the golf course out and try and uh, reduce that shot then you can obviously go 0.75 degrees flatter in the light which obviously makes it a little bit more fade biased then we moved up in loft so as i flick this now into the blue ball flight if you look at the the side on view you'll see there's that slightly a little bit more launch on the ball. So I kept the, a couple of little left shots there now, but I've, I kept it 1.5 degree more upright, but you can see an extra one and a half degrees of loft just gave me a little bit more flight over that nine degree. So just increasing that uh, ball flight a tiny bit. Okay, so there's probably a good example of how the next sleeve can benefit certain ball flights. So as I say, 16 different options with Titleist. There is a lot. I'd always advise get with a fitter, get on a track man, dial it into maybe what you're doing with the club face, your shot direction, as we've sort of seen there. But post comments down below, let you know your thoughts. If you've got a Titleist driver, what setting have you got on it and how did you get to that setting? Was it through a fitting environment or was it just through your own trial and error? I'd love to hear your thoughts as always. So hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.